Clark Davis Ivans was uh, born in Yandina in 1919, a small country town just near Nambour, north of Brisbane. And he grew up in a family with eight children, uh, six girls, two boys, uh, and a very happy family. He actually took up the trade of a house painter. But in, of course, in 1939, outbreak of World War II, he decided uh, to join the army and he enlisted actually not until 1941. He enlisted on the 1st of July, 1941, uh, enlisted in the 2nd 12th Battalion uh, and, uh, and was shipped out to the Middle East Theatre of Operations. That was, of course, at the time, very soon after Japan entered the war and, and of course, the great tussle between Churchill and, and Prime Minister Curtin for the Australians to be brought back um, uh, into the Asian uh, theatre, in the Pacific Theatre, to. Uh, defend against the Japanese uh, advance and of course Clark was part of that wave that came back from the Middle East uh, into Papua New Guinea and he fought at the Battle of Milne Bay uh, in, in, in Papua New Guinea in 1942. He was shot and badly wounded in that battle and then several months later just after his 24th birthday he passed away because of those wounds. Uh, he'd had obviously a very short life but a remarkable life in terms of world history and in terms of world events and uh, in, in a way forced by the circumstances of war he became the first great traveler in the family I mean he was the first first member of his family to leave uh, to leave Australia let alone um, even Queensland as the family has aged as we all do and and uh, Clark's siblings uh, the six uh, sisters and, and his brother Brian, uh, many of them of course have passed away uh, and now there's only uh, two of the sisters left, my mother Lorna and uh, her older sister, uh, my auntie Rita, who's now 98. Uh, and I could tell with my mum in the last couple of years that she was getting a bit concerned about what to do with the artefacts of Clark's life, his war medals, the documents, who would look after it. And I got a real sense, and we talked about it, that she was a, a bit saddened that, that his memory would be lost, that, that it would slowly over time disappear from sort of family, from that family legend, that family history. Uh, and that's where we came up with the idea of a memorial prize or, or an award which honoured his memory and the family history uh, in an area where it was related in a sense to his life experience. So we chose the Security Studies Program uh, in the Coral Bell School of Asia Pacific Affairs in the Strategic and Defence Studies Centre, uh, which was the obvious place to establish a prize like this for, uh, in honour of a, of a military service, national service, uh, in a period of international crisis and war, given the strength, particularly in SDSC and Strategic and Defence Studies Centre, uh, of their work in uh, you know, military history, uh, defence studies, and so on. So we thought a prize for a young student that sort of captured uh, the study of, of international security, of defence, would be a fitting tribute um, to my Uncle Clark, to my mother's brother, uh, and to the family in general.